if you want to keep a mask count a mask saying count in this video and maybe make a drinking game out of it by all means go for it you'll be wasted by the end of this i'm sure she's a mama lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something bad features you'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you head on out and just preemptively give this video a thumbs up because it's gonna be a good one. So today is another Sunday challenge. I feel like we should come up with a name for Sunday challenges. Let me know down in the comments what you think. But this challenge is going to be a beauty challenge for the past two whole weeks. I've been doing a face mask every single day. And the reason I wanted to do this is because obviously face masks are like the pinnacle of skincare. Like they're what people market as like the cure-all. Like you having a breakout, please do a face mask. If your skin is dull, please do a face mask. If your skin is really dry, please do a face mask. It's like the treat that you give your skin once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe once a month because you don't really have time. So I was like, you know what? If skin masks are meant to be such a treat for your skin, then I want to see what it does to my skin if I do it every single day for two weeks. I felt like a week wasn't enough enough and I felt like a month was way too long like I feel like I would really just fail that challenge if I tried to do a face mask every day for a month so I decided on two weeks 14 days and I actually stuck to it like I only missed I think one day and the day after that I did two so I like made up for it and I was actually pretty nervous going into this challenge because I was like this could make or break my skin like I have kind of finicky skin I'm a little bit acne prone I do like my just my skin has reactions if it has like too much stuff going on with it very easily so I was a little bit afraid but I was like honestly I want to do it because my skin actually does react really well to face masks if I like them anyway so I was like let's do it and I also wanted to show you guys a bunch of face masks that I love and I felt like two weeks I didn't actually even get to show you like all of my face masks like there's so many more than I need to show you um, but I did actually find some gems this week but yeah you guys we did two weeks of face masks I've documented a lot of the first week and not much of the second week because I kind of just fell off with like filming it but I still did it I promise you I did a face mask every day for the past two weeks so we're just gonna jump into the, my documentation of the two weeks now and then after I will tell you how my skin liked it how it didn't like it what happened to me let's go Hello you guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. So, I would like to do a thing. I've had this video idea in mind for a very long time, like months, like maybe even almost a year. But I don't know why, I just haven't done it yet. So today, we're gonna be starting day one of doing a face mask every day for two weeks straight. This might kill my skin, it also might make my skin the best it's ever been. Currently, this is my skin, hold on, I need to put on chapstick because I feel so dry. I also just ran up the stairs from getting my camera, so I'm really out of breath. <laughs> yeah, so this is my face currently. I would say my biggest skin issues are clogged pores, texture, and the occasional acne, as you can see. Dark marks, I would love to be brighter. I've got fine lines right here that I would love to get rid of. Also right here that I would love to get rid of. Um, I don't know that masks do that, but right now, today, I feel like, hold on, I got a booger. I feel like my pores are a little clogged, so one of my favorite masks to combat that is Glam Glow Super Mud. I gotta give a big shout out to Glam Glow for putting me on their PR list and sending me this for free because this shit is pretty expensive, but I will say it is probably my favorite mask of all time. It's the only one that I like, even when, even before I was on the PR list, I always like had it in stock. Like I always repurchase it. So I love this stuff and it's really great. Hold on, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take a picture of my skin for the thumbnail, like my before shot. So BRB. Okay, day one. Oh, okay, okay. I probably should have done this in the bathroom, but like there's nowhere to set my camera in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna do it here. And then I have this little brush. I'm pretty sure Borghese sent this to me. I really love using a brush because I hate getting masks, especially like a black, darker mask like this all over my hands. It just grosses me out. The same way doing my makeup with my fingers grosses me out. I just don't like the feeling. So just like foundation, I usually put it on the back of my hand or if it's in a jar, just dip this brush into the jar and paint it on my face. This mask is like, it goes from this darker gray color and then like it lightens as it dries and it goes to like a light gray color. And especially like on your nose where you have blackheads, you can see, I'll show you when it tightens. 
um, you can see that it like pulls everything out to the surface. You can see like the little dots of like oil and dirt that's coming out and it's so cool and it really really works and it feels amazing. I feel like this is also going to be a really great opportunity to like show you guys a lot of my favorite masks because there's a big old box of skincare back there that has a million masks because I get so much skincare and masks sent to me. I just said masks like 14. If you want to keep a mask count, a mask saying count in this video and maybe make a drinking game out of it, by all means go for it. You'll be wasted by the end of this I'm sure. I have a lot of masks that like I really want you guys to try but I never really talk about them because I don't really talk about skincare on my channel very much. If you would like me to then just let me know in the comments. I also really like this mask because it's gonna do a lot of work in not very long like I have some other ma mud masks that I have to like keep on for like 40 minutes because they just don't dry because they're so like thick. And those are just a lot. I'm really trying to get some work done today. So I can't be sitting here with a mask on for too long. Because I got to do my makeup and shoot some stuff. Okay. I also always make sure to get on my jawline. Because I get clogged pores there a lot too. I think because I like rest my face on my hands. Okay. We're masked up. Let's wait and see. And then I'll rinse it off. And I don't know. I don't really know. how. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to show you like every single. Well, I'm going to try to show you every single mask. I use. I'm probably going to be using, I don't think I'll have like 14 different masks, like one for every day, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to go let this sit and we'll be back. Okay, you guys, mask is dry. I'm looking. Do you see how it like all that is like oil and dirt that's in my face coming out? So I'm going to go rinse this off and um, I think I'll just see you tomorrow for tomorrow's mask. See you. We'll probably do something a little more hydrating or something tomorrow. We'll see how my skin is feeling. Ha, hello you guys. Um, so yesterday I totally forgot that it is that I was doing this whole mask a day. So what I did before I went to bed, I actually did this fresh rose deep hydration sleeping mask. I actually really like this. I've used it like two or three times and it really makes your skin feel really nice and plump the next day. So I'm out the shower now. I wanted to mention to this to you guys. It's really cool. It's like two sides. So like one side is, hold on. So like that you put on this side first, it's like more like a, a gel serum. And then this one's more of a cream. And then you put it on, it smells like, it smells like roses, but like rose has like a weird, I don't really like the scent of rose, but this actually makes your skin feel really, really nice the next morning. But to, for today's mask, I want to do something quick and this you only have to leave on for three to 10 minutes. Probably leave it on, uh, I'll probably leave it on for like three to five. Um, this is the June G, let me get myself together. This is the June Jacobs Perfect Pumpkin Peeling Enzyme Mask, and I love this to kind of retexturize your skin. It just makes your skin feel like so smooth after. Like it really does. The en those enzymes really get to work, as you can see. There's a huge dent in it. I love this stuff. Th between this and the Glam Glow, it's probably like my most used masks. I just love them. Um, it does tingle because of those enzymes. It does give your give your face like a tingling sensation, almost a burn, but like get to work enzymes get to work so I'm gonna put this on I'm also like I was picking here so that's not very good so hopefully this will help me out um but other than that I don't really have any active breakouts it's all just like marks for me picking old breakouts so I'm gonna put this on and that's today's mask tomorrow I don't know I feel like I'm gonna be switching between like exfoliating like pore clearing and hydrating like every other day but we'll see how my skin feels tomorrow and we'll see what mask we want to do. Cause I have, I definitely have enough to do <laughs> a mask, like a different mask every day, but I don't know if that's the smartest route. So we'll see. Happy Monday people. Um, yesterday I completely forgot to do a mask right now. I'm in my towel about to do a mask today. So I think because I missed yesterday, I might do like a regular mask today. And then tonight before I go to bed, do like a sleeping mask, like double up kind of. So that's the plan, but the mask for right now that we're gonna do is the ES2 Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Mud Mask. I haven't done this in a long time, so I don't really remember how I like it, but I am breaking out like over here, and I just wanna like kinda nip those little buggers in the butt and like get them off my face. So my little, I'm gonna use my little brush. I love applying with a brush like 
just makes it a way better experience. I'm gonna do a thin layer of this though because like I kind of need to get hurry up and get ready and I don't want this to take a million years to dry my face so I'm just gonna do a thin layer. It's like very shiny and almost like sticky but hopefully it unclogs these damn pores for me. That's what we want. And then I'm gonna hydrate a little extra after. I always do that after I do like a detox mud mask. Always hydrate a little more because it definitely stripped your skin of all its natural oils and you don't want to dehydrate it because that'll make you break out even more. Okay, so I'm gonna go do this mask and then I'll report back later when I do my sleeping mask. Sorry for missing yesterday. <laughs> That's It was just a lazy Sunday and I just like completely forgot. I actually didn't even wash my face yesterday, which is not good at all. But you know those days that you just have no makeup on and you just like, because you don't put on any makeup or take off any makeup, you're like, why would I wash my face? Like it just slips your mind. That, that was my day yesterday. But I'm gonna go finish this mask and then I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello you guys, happy Tuesday. <laughs> I have a mask on already and I can't feel my face, but I feel like it wouldn't be a two weeks of a mask every day challenge if I didn't come on camera like this at least seven times. So here we are. I feel like a serial killer. The mask I, I have on right now is this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask with Songi Mushroom. And it's supposed to be for absorbing impurities and removing dead skin cells that can dull the skin. Your skin will be left radiant, softer, and refreshed. So this is what I have on right now. I just got it at Target earlier today and it smells really good. It did kind of burn a little bit when I first put it on, but the burning has subsided. I wonder if that's from the fragrance or just like from the active ingredients in it. it has coconut oil, hibiscus flower, and that Songi Mushroom. Um, it's definitely tightening. I think I have to take it off like ASAP. But remember yesterday when I told you I was gonna do that mask that I did and then a sleeping mask to double up for Sunday when I didn't do one. Last night I did this Ahava hydration cream mask. I really like this. Um, last year when I went to Paris and I realized that my chapped chin, if you remember that incident, my chapped chin was an issue. I was putting this on it because I packed this with me mostly for the plane ride, but I ended up putting it on my... <laughs> I ended up putting it on my chapped chin a lot and it actually really helps if you have like dry spots, really dry skin. I use it, you can use this just as a regular mask or you can use it overnight. Um, and I use it overnight and my skin felt great this morning. I also like these breakouts that I had over here are starting to clear up, which is great. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying doing a mask every day. It's very like zen, like me time kind of moment and I love it. So but yeah, this is today's mask. So I will report back tomorrow Tomorrow. Hello you guys. Happy Thursday. I have a sheet mask on today. This is the Joanna Vargas Twilight Face Mask. It's meant to activate and generate a deep conditioning mask that delivers epidermal growth factor to promote optimal vibrance and skin resilience. Basically, I put this on because yesterday's mask, I did another over overnight mask. This is the Pure Deep Sea Hydrating Mask from Skin Inc. And it's obviously meant to hydrate overnight. Um, and I woke up and my skin was extra dry. So I was like, mm-hmm, wonder what happened there. So I decided to do a sheet mask before I do my makeup because I feel like it always plumps up my skin and makes it feel really good and really hydrates it. So I actually have never used this mask before, so it's new to me, but we'll see how it is. I do like Joanna Vargas skincare. They've sent me some other stuff like a serum that I use actually every day. So I do like them. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but happy Thursday. I think this is halfway through our challenge. So we're doing great so far. Nothing, nothing catastrophic has happened, but I do look like Michael Myers. So there's that. Hello you guys and welcome to the last mask of the challenge. The second part of this challenge I definitely failed on filming it but that's okay because I still did all of my masks so since we're here I wanted to mention like the ones I've been doing because I got kind of lazy and I've been like repeating masks since the last time you saw me. So I mentioned this hydration cream mask by Ahava that I was using overnight and I used that I think two more times since you last saw me and then I also used this twice since you last saw me. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. Uh, yeah, I don't really, it's the yellow one. I'll find out more info. All the masks that I use will be linked down below for you guys. But I really like this because it 
Declogs your pores and also exfoliates like when you wash it off. It's got like beads So it makes your skin feel really clean and really smooth after and then this one Really makes your skin feel hydrated because I found I will talk about the, this in the outro and the summation of this video But I was getting pretty irritated with all these masks So towards the end I definitely went a little more the calming route But the mask I have on right now is from fresh a big shout out to fresh because I told them I was doing this video and they sent me like a really really super sweet care package with two of their masks and a bunch of skincare products so thank you to Ezra I love you the most um, but this is their Umbri Umbrian clay purifying mask it's like you know a regular clay purifying detox unclog your pore mask this is the first time I'm using this so we will see how I like it but they also sent me the rose face mask and this I really really loved because the other day I had taken a flight my skin was super dry and I was like stressed out like my face like my skin was just like in the thick of it and I did a really nice thick layer of this laid down for 15 minutes and my skin felt brand new after so this is the shit it really calmed my skin hydrated it it was a dream honestly and I really wanted to try like honestly I was gonna do this one again because this is kind of more what my skin needs right now but I really wanted to try this for the video so I put it on so but yeah for now I'm gonna let this face mask sit I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna film the intro and the outro of this vlog so I guess I'll see you then. Bye guys. Okay, you guys. So as you saw in the documentation clips, you saw my skin before, you saw my skin after, and I will insert photos right now so you can see the difference. Or actually little video clips because I took those too. So let's compare my skin before and after. I haven't really looked at the clips yet, but to be honest, just at, like day-to-day -day life, remembering my skin in the beginning and looking at my skin without makeup, now I don't see too big of a difference, to be honest. Um, I know that in the past two weeks, my skin definitely didn't want to have a face mask on it every day. It was about day seven or eight. It was like when I started going into the second week, my skin was flaring up. You guys know if you watch last winter, you know that I went through a phase where I had a really chapped chin. And to be honest, that chapped chin never fully went away. I've just kind of figured out how to maintain it and keep it not chapped. <laughs> I basically have like two like eczema spots on my chin that get really flaky and flared up when my skin is flared up um, when my skin gets gets sensitive gets too dry gets irritated gets stressed my chin gets really dry and flaky and itchy and irritated and that definitely happened going into week two this for this challenge so I almost like wanted to stop but I was like you know what I just gotta figure out with which masks I can do because I gotta say the first week I was doing a lot more like intense like the glam glow super mud um, some of the other mud masks I was using were really intense like drying masks and I was like you know what I I gotta kind of either multi-mask and put hydrating stuff down in this sensitive area or I've just got to skip those masks altogether and so that's what I did but yeah this challenge uh, I wouldn't recommend it to you guys I think if you want to do a face mask more often I think it can help your skin but I think I would do it every other day because every day I just feel like because face masks are so potent and like intense it's just too much for your skin at least my skin I honestly wouldn't recommend this challenge I don't think that like my skin didn't come out any better came out a little bit worse because I'm still dealing with like some irritation on my chin and around my nose weirdly like whenever my chin gets flaky like around my nose gets really dry and irritated too it also didn't help that going into week two I was like pretty stressed I took a plain like skin Airplane air is so, so, so bad for skin. Like my skin flares up every single time I fly, even if it's an only, even if it's only a 45 minute flight like it was this week, like my skin just does not like flying. Also during this two week period, I did get like a massive breakout right here. It's still clearing up, but I think it was all of the mud mass I was doing. It was kind of bringing all of the stuff gunk like to the surface of my skin and of course me being a picker I was like get in out so because I was picking all of like it wasn't even pimples I would say it was like you know when you get a clogged pore like a blackhead and it finally comes to the surface and you can like pop it out really easy easy like it's just like sitting right there it was basically that kind of thing all along my jawline all on my cheek like it, it was coming up everywhere and I think it's because all of the mass I was doing was like pulling it all up, out and from underneath so obviously I was picking them and because I was picking them and I'm not the most gentle of pickers I was getting really irritated and inflamed and just like 
messing with my skin basically so that's my fault but it definitely was because I was masking so much that everything was coming up and I was like get in out which I'm glad I extracted it but I definitely could have done it in a gentler way so I definitely still have like a huge break well it's dyed it was huge like it was so like it was just gross it was crusty because I kept picking it and it was scabbing and it was like just gross so don't do that but I will say that happened this week and that that was like the, the same two or three days that my chin flared up so I was just a hot ass mess like literally that flight I took I went to the airport at the end of the day to take my flight back home and the TSA guy I showed him my ID who's like are you sure this is you because I didn't have makeup on I'm not even lying to you guys the TSA guy didn't believe my ID because I wasn't wearing makeup. He thought I was catfishing the TSA. No, sir, I'm just this ugly. Thank you so much for reminding me. Love you the most. So if that isn't a fucking self-esteem crusher, then I don't know what is. Thank you so much, sir. Rude. So yeah, uh, this challenge, it wasn't a fail necessarily. And it actually, I really did enjoy every day having like a moment to myself, like a nice little self-care moment. But I don't really think you need that every day. I feel like if you do it every day, then it doesn't become like a really nice self-care moment. It just becomes part of your routine and it's not as special. So I would keep face masks to like twice, maybe three times a week and no more than that. But I did want to mention two hero products that I actually really, really love. And probably the two that stood out to me the most during this challenge. Number one is this L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. It's, I'm pretty sure the, it's yellow because it's turmeric. I will leave every mask that I used in this video down below for you guys to try out but this I loved it because it really did a great job of like clearing out my pores and kind of like decongesting my skin because I do have like I got a breakout right here like I'm just it's a lot going on so this does a really great job of like making my skin feel really nice and clear and especially if it's got like texture on it like if I've got like you know when your skin just starts to feel like gunky and like you get like textured you know this is really nice because it's got these little beads in it so when you wash it off it kind of exfoliates you too and your skin feels amazing after and I found that it wasn't nearly as drying as my other like pure clarifying mask so I really really liked this oh also to update you from the last clip of me documenting the fresh uh, Umbrian clay mask I actually really liked it it wasn't nearly as drying as like the super mud or other clarifying masks that I use and my skin felt really nice and clean after so I actually would recommend that one but the other hero product and this is probably like my favorite mask of the whole two weeks like this did, did such wonders for my skin so after I took that flight and my skin like my chin was literally I was like itching it because it was so irritated it was like bright red like my skin was just not having it and I was like I need to do a face mask because I have to finish this challenge but like I really don't want to irritate my skin anymore and so I pulled this baby out this is the fresh rose face mask and it's meant to hydrate and tone and it's also got pure rose water for soothing and toning cucumber extract aloe vera so it's supposed to be very calming gentle soothing but also hydrate your skin and help with pores and i was like you know what this is probably the only mask that i have in my house that is going to do like to benefit my skin right now because my skin cannot handle any more mud like it really can't so i put a thick old layer of this on my face and i swear to god when i wash it off my face was like thank you Ashley thank you so much like this helped my face feel so much more hydrated it really calmed all of the redness and the irritation down like my skin just felt so nice and smooth and it was nice and cooling like it was just overall an amazing experience so I've got to say the fresh rose face mask which is normally not a mask I would ever go for myself so thank you to fresh for sending me this but like this is normally not a mask I would pick up whenever I go mask shopping I'm like whatever's gonna clear out my pores and and make my pores smaller that's what I go for so I I really really love this like it made my skin feel so 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 amazing if you have dry skin if you have irritated skin if just I feel like everybody would love this like it felt so good and it smells like roses I'm not actually not even the biggest fan of the rose scent but if you are it smells like roses so you'll probably enjoy that my favorite face mask and yes fresh did send this to me but this isn't sponsored that's really my thoughts I could have picked any mask in this challenge because honestly I gotta say most of the masks I used in this challenge were sent to me other than that one um Shea Moisture mask that I got at Target that day I'm pretty sure all of the other ones were either sent to me or I got in a subscription box a gift bag I don't think I actually paid full price for any of them except for that one <laughs> and nope the super mud was sent to me too yeah so I'm not biased at all because they were all sent to me so they were all you know in the same running and honestly the one that I bought full price was probably my least favorite I'm not gonna lie like it didn't really do much for me and my skin felt dry after and whatever anyway so yeah you guys that is this 
this week's challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Like I said before, if you're new here, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get new Sunday challenge videos every single week, as well as two other videos from me every single week. So three videos total every week. You can count on it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite face mask is because obviously I'm really into them. If I, if I had enough face masks to do this two week challenge and I still got more that I didn't even show you, obviously I love face masks. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite face mask is, what has helped your skin the most. I love you all so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.